Today, we are gonna make the infamous poor man's pappy. We've got some uh, ingredients. Uh, one is the 12 year Weller. This one's open from the previous batch that I made. And then we have the antique 107 Weller. Those are the two pertinent ingredients that you need to make poor man's pappy. I have taken it up a little bit of a step or two and bought myself one of these uh, oak barrels, charred oak barrels, uh, miniatures. Um, and doing so, I soaked uh, the barrel for, well, it's been sitting with limestone water from Kentucky. No, this isn't urine. This is actually limestone water, which I poured back in from uh, taking it out of the uh, keg. So you can see some of the char and the coloring that, uh, that the uh, gives off. Um, and then I, after making the mixture, I'll put it in the, uh, the barrel for two to three weeks. Um, you get kind of an exponential aging process because there's so much oak touching the uh, bourbon. So I don't want to leave it in too long to distort the flavor of the poor man's peppy, but I do think it adds quite a bit of character. Um, James doesn't know I'm going to do this. But we're going to have a little taste of the poor man's pappy that I've got left from the previous go around. And again, I want to get his spontaneous thoughts on what it tastes like. And we'll taste this just neat, just to see what he thinks. Just a little spot, spot, spot of poor man's Just a happy. spot, sir. Just taste it. Let's get that on you. Hey, cheers. Cheers. Vacation. Hmm. That's super smooth. Smooth, very complex. I've had the 15 year pappies in when I was in Kentucky. And this is actually very close to it. It's not quite as refined as the pappy, but you don't even need any ice or anything. No, I would put one cube with it normally, but this was just to, so you could get the taste of it because, you know, as we all know, bourbon changes when you put a little bit of water or ice with it. It's a great color too. Coloring's good, which I think putting in here helps that. Um, but also I think it try, you're trying to give just a little bit more aging uh, or more flavor of the oak. So anyhow, what we're going to do is we're going to use a 60-40 ratio. And you can play around with this. You could go 50-50 if you chose to. Uh, but I'm going to go 60-40. So what do we have? Uh, 34. Is it 34 um, ounces? 34 ounces, I think. So times 6, 60%. So we're at just a touch over 20 ounces of the 107. Oh. And what every man needs, his eyes. <laughs> so what we're doing is giving basically two and a half cups of the 107. Well, and that's gonna be almost perfect. What I had in there, there's two and a half cups. That can all fit in the barrel? It's gonna fit in the barrel. Jeez. It better fit in the barrel. <laughs> and this is the 106. Oh, this is a 12 year weller. And we're going to put in uh, what, 40%? So 4 times 3, so 12, about oh, 13 ounces. Um, well, what I'm going to do, I guess I'll pour this in. Get a clean measurement from the cup in half. Don't want to spill it. I don't know if anybody in your audience has ever had the 107 Weller. It's about here in Michigan. It's about oops, uh, $33. You can get it for. Um, you cannot find a 12 year here in Michigan. If you can, then that means you are probably a very preferred client at some liquor store. You know somebody. <laughs> you know somebody. But I have never been able to find it. I had to order it online. I ordered three bottles. 
each bottle cost me $100, or just thereabouts, or a little bit over. Look at that, you finished off the bottles perfectly. No, I need a little more of this. Oh, did you buy more? I do have more. Uh, I have one more bottle. Nice, okay. Yeah. I can't find Weller. Well, I guess if I was at like a liquor store, I might be able to find it, at like Total Wine or something like that. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to add thir basically 13 ounces or a little bit over a cup and a half of the 12 here in. You know, I don't, I don't know if the limestone water has anything to do with it, but that's one reason why I went and purchased that. Was I just wanted to get as close as I possibly could to everything that, did, that they do at Buffalo Trace. And, uh, but this is a deli delicious mixture. Oh, don't spill. It's just barely enough, huh? Mm hmm? Just barely fits? Well, it's, it, it fits. Um, I actually have a little more room in there if I wanted to, but I'm just going to fill up the... What I'm making here is actually going to go into this uh, decanter here, and it'll more than be enough to fill that. So. Very cool. And then we just... Uh, the little uh, little cork back in, or the butt plug, as they call it, the plug. <laughs> the butt plug. And we're gonna just let that sit there. You know what they call that? Bung hole. B the bung. Yeah. The bung. <laughs> the bung plug. I need yeah. TP for my bung hole. Yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, that's how you make the poor man's pappy. Very cool. We'll pour that out, and like I said, in about two weeks, mm -hmm. mark the date. We'll put it in the decanter, and we'll let it sit until we're ready to drink it. Perfect. Okay. Well, thanks for showing us. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments below. See you later.